hello how are you guys and of course today we have very uh I have a short discussion on how to embed uh, any videos, especially the YouTube video in your HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, so let's roll. So we have here the YouTube, and uh, of course, I would like to share to, 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 to search my name, and then we'll embed this video to our HTML program. Okay, so it's, there you have it. Okay, there's a check. So I have here the video, and of course, I have also here the list of my um, uh, uh, playlist. Okay. For example, we're gonna open this thing, okay? Okay, so this is the example for that, and of course, we're seeing right now the sponsored ads. And uh, if you want to embed this video, it's very simple, okay? For example, we need to skip this advertisement first, so we have to share it first, okay? Once you share that, of course, we have the following uh, social media platform right here, and we can, of course, get the embed, and we have it. So we have here the frame right here, and at the bottom of this, we have the extra parameters for. Uh, some options and of course no uh, by embedding your YouTube videos on your site you are agreeing to YouTube API terms of service okay uh, we agree with that we can use the show player controls and we can disable this okay or maybe show player control so we can copy now this iframe the purpose of iframe is to uh, you know encapsulate the specific areas of the region of your video okay let us copy this thing and then we can now write the program so in writing the program you can use different tools okay you can use the different tools to write your program. So we can use the Vim, the Sublime, the Visual Studio, and of course you have the Notepad. Of course, we can use a Notepad right here. And then oops, we have we need to write the program. So how to do this? It's very simple. So you just have to is to type a program, or maybe you can start to embed the video right there and save this HTML file. Just check that. Okay, for those uh, uh, who are new in this channel, and of course you're starting your career to write uh, your code, uh, we can use this. If, let's say we we want to save this thing. Okay. So we save this as save us, and then we're gonna save it to a file, right? Save test one. So the file is already saved, and then let us check that. So we have to check it here. Then we type the file. Okay, because the, we, uh, this is a, a uh, independent file. This is not online, so we need to target the folder. I save this in my own folder. Where's the folder? I will check it again. File, of course. So we have here the file and. Uh, the subfolder of that is right here, test one. Okay, test one. And then let us check that test one point HTML. Let us check it. So we run the program that we have it. So we have here, of course, the embedded video. Okay, my video. So this is already embedded right here. If we want to check the code, okay, this is the code that we have written. So far, well, of course, we don't have the header, the formal header, but again, we just uh, embed, of course, the specifications and of course the data of this video as you can see the size is 560 315 the height the width and this is the address of that and the title is of course we have here the youtube video player but you can change this title if you want so for example the title is about a uh, test video okay so we have the frame border zero but if you want to put one of course alloy accelerometer and force you to play the clip look right and of course you have here the following parameters for that okay now, if you want to uh, center this thing, it's very simple, it's very easy. Okay, let us arrange this program, and then we can say, okay, center. Then we have here, center at the bottom, okay? So this is cool and nice, uh, especially if you're uh, starting your um, uh, writing program in STEML. STEML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So, you know, nowadays, of course, you can copy and paste those um, parameters. Okay, so when we save this program, let us save it again. And then we go right here and then save it. All right, now this is centered. So as you play this thing, of course you have it here. All right, so you have it. This is already what you call this and the type of video. So again, um, let us erase the code and of course let us check if this code is responsive. So if you want to check if the code is responsive, of course you can press the right button and then go to the inspect view. All right, so you can see, well, of course, no. uh, let us check if it is responsive by going here to the computer. And of course you have here the device. If you click this one, of course, it will create create a different types of orientation. So when you put it right there, right here, of course, this is not responsive. Okay. Okay. This is not responsive. So what will you do if you want to make this as a responsive type of design? So it's very easy. Let us close this and go back to our editor. Again, uh, you can use your editor, but I'm using the Notepad editor because, well, we have lots of users well, with the problem with their vision. So I want to use the white background, <laughs> white uh, editor. Okay. So I will type here, doc, type HTML, okay. 
and then we have here the ML. Let us write the code, and then we have here the title. So let's say this is test uh, embedding. Okay, of video. Okay, so we have here the title, and then we put here the head. This is where we put the let's say the framework of your hypertext markup now. It's a framework of your cascading style sheets. Okay, I will share later uh, what's the purpose of the CSS, or you can go to my JavaScript tutorial. You can see there the CSS framework. Uh, it was discussed right there. So head, so you have to use the head right here. So in the head, we can put here the meta name calls to, okay, the, this is the viewport, this is how you do it. Don't worry if you cannot understand this, just follow the instruction, okay, sorry about that. And then we have here the content, okay, calls to um, with device, okay, device is equals to with, uh, okay, height minus width. I'm sorry if I cannot. Uh, I'm with and then scale and then we have to put here initial uh, scale calls to 1.0 so this is the code for that for the responsive let us check if this thing will run of course so far we have here the beta name viewport content cost device calls um, with a uh, uh, with minus device I'm sorry that this device with minus device, sorry with the class device. So we have an initial scale 1.0 and of course this is it. Now we need to finish this program and uh, we have to uh, put here the body for that. Okay, this is now the center of our the main part of the code. Okay, then we have here the body. Okay, and of course we have also here the HTML. Now, if we save this, okay, let us check and save this. And of course, we have the title and let us put some title here also. Uh, a text, okay. So, center. You can type big letter, small letter, okay. Uh, center or small letter, center. Then we have here, of course, H2. Okay, I will put the style. This is the internal um, uh, parameter for your scale style sheet. So, we can use the attributes of color. And then we have this blue. Okay, so we have to put a title test uh, embedding. Okay, so we have to put right here H2. Okay, then we have the oh, sorry, center. We save the program, then we run it again and save it here. Okay, so uh, what is the error? Let us check what is the error. <laughs> There's something wrong with the code. Doc type, stem L, body, stem L. I know what happened. Meta. Okay, let us check that. Center. Oh, let us check that again. Okay, I will uh, check this first. Okay, so I will let us check the error. I think this is the uh, wrong grammar. We have to pair it with the double quotation. And of course, uh, we have already uh, finished uh, embedding this, okay, in our YouTube channel. So we have to pay, pay, uh, save this again and refresh the site that we have uh, showing this to you a while ago. And we click this. Uh, okay, this do you have it? So we have here the test embedding. How will you know if this is working or not? It is responsive if, of course, it is fit and of course it has a good irritation when you open your um your device. Like for example, if you have your tablet, if you have your cell phone, how to do that? So we have to do this to press the right button and of course go right here. Where is that? You go to inspect page, and then there you have it. So this is already a responsive type of data. How to how how will you know if this is a responsive data? Because if you go to your cell phone, of course, you go right here, okay? Just go to computer and go right here. And then you go right here. And then when you click this, this is the cell phone display or mobile phone display. This is really responsive. See? It's cool, right? Now let us uh, review it again. And of course, it'll go right here. For example, if you want to uh, add another uh, elements, elements of the text, okay? We have the BR. And we have here, of course, the center. Okay? So let us add the text right here, okay? Center. And then we'll make it as, uh, let's say, um, H2 and then style. And we have to color. Then let's say uh, the color the color is uh, the color, style color. And also the color is red or blue or green. Okay, we have here. So let us type it. Let from uh, test, 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 test. Okay, let us follow this. Let us check if uh, uh, this is responsive. Okay, test. 
okay yes all right so we have a test right there and then we need to paste this at the bottom down next to the line all right so we have to copy this test test okay uh you can use your cell phone to play this program okay it's very simple you go to your uh, app or text editor app and then you run that in your mobile phone and you can use open your browser and uh, the right upper uh, right of your uh, cell phone you can check the options there to run it as responsive of course if you want it in actual actual display you can check the desktop there okay now let us run this thing okay let us check this okay let us test if this thing is working as a responsive type of data all right so we have to center this thing then we again uh, save this then go right here then okay so as you can see now if you look at it first now you run the program so this is responsive look okay this the text is uh, adjusting okay that's it so this is now uh, a quick and very simple um, technique how to uh, embed a video especially if you're working with your multimedia and of course um writing your own projects okay so left list could go right here now if you look at it you can use for the style of course you can use the elements right here so it's very simple okay we have the console right the key device is not recognized and ignore the command i don't know what happened but again this is acceptable okay so the code is very simple right here okay viewport vnet the name is called viewport device called speed device scale okay that's it so I don't know if this is but again it's working so you can reverse the device equals speed minus device device minus speed and then this scale equals the scale equals 1.0 all right so if you have any questions or things to ask you can go to the link below in my description and you can have a short banter of what topic you want we would like to discuss and please don't forget to share and subscribe this channel thank you so much class for thank you so much guys for watching okay